hungry for some good deer? <clears throat> Back in a pinch. Get your young men talk. Do you or do you not feel bonita? Do you or do you Wonderful because you look bonita. Wonderful because you look I stitched uh cheers. Thank you very much. You just had to. I mean, you didn't, but you did. You didn't have to, but you did do. You also... Oh, I'm going to be very orange today, aren't I? You cross the four digit mark on the bits. That's why I'm doing that. You must show up Saturday so I can cheers you with an actual like shot. Where's my shot glass? I put it all away. I was I was I was a good boy. I cleaned up this week. Red light. Red lights. Hello. Hello. I haven't heard. Ratio. Um, if I am perfectly honest with you, neither have I. So. I wish I had an answer for you, but I do not actually know what's going on with him. Gotcha. Which is fun. <laughs> so I'm ready to kill some space stuff. What are we doing tonight? The FTP. Oh, sweet. So what do you guys spend tech frags on when you're like totally geared so when i'm not leveling uh legendaries it's just a good default it's just to go buy an oem and rpm that spends eight thousand of them and 
eventually turns into a gold augment down the road once you have enough. Right. I remember which vendor that is offhand. Yeah, so instead of the far right section, it's the one next to it, and it's the person behind the desk. I also s discovered I did not have um, my speeder piloting fully leveled on this one, which is why I was so much slower than everybody. I just did a character today and a, a new character in it. It's a, a reminder of how brand new characters are. No speeder <laughs> piloting, but you can, at least. But you have to get the money, yeah. and you can get the money if you could get the legacy bay. But the, the legacy bay costs money, so you cost money to get the thing that you get the <laughs> money from. But strongholds. Yes, thank goodness for strongholds. What? Yeah, the most annoying one is I have a character that doesn't have a ship yet. I can't do anything. So with OEMs and RPMs, do you try to buy like an equal number of each or do you try yes. to? Okay. I always wait till my tech frags get to about 8,000 and then I go buy two, one each. Yeah, okay. That's what I just did. So good Perfect. to know. Woo. Yeah. New to this whole close to being fully geared world. <laughs> I was just hide and seeking forever. But... Hiding and seeking? I don't know what the conjugation is. Stitched, you're lighting up, but I'm not hearing you. <clears throat> Hello, I'm here. Yeah, I can hear. Anyone? Good. Hello? We hear you. Oh. Great. Maybe bad, but the best I can do right now. <coughs> Might have to fix some sometime, I don't know. Come over. They're talking. I will have to mute it. Who else is in here? Hello. Hi. <laughs> hey. Huh. Hello. Velvet. Hello. Hello. You are so quiet. Stitch, I'm still not hearing you. Oh, yeah, no. Mm -mm. Did you go to your sound input? video and audio and in the discord no 
now. All right, I'll be right back. Assistants are out. Apex still six. Bit. Yeah. Been coughing up along all afternoon. Oh. Hey, ouch. Hey, you sound awful. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least it's not COVID. Is that bad? I'm starting to think actually sometimes COVID, like, because there are meds, although I don't know. Horatio's apparently still. They can cough medicine, take congestion, take everything. <laughs> no, I've, water. I've been taking a lot of stuff. I've slept most of the day. Good. Oh, but you showed up for us. I did. I needed to get out of bed at some point. Nice. We're good enough reason. Hi, Fim. Here, but hey, I'm not sleeping. Hello. Okay, so just switch the door. Maybe you will try to reconnect the mic. Restart, hard reset. I did have to lower her before, so she's not even a hundred percent. Where's your accent like from? Me? Yeah. God, it's always me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's the Bulgaria. Oh, okay. I'm on a Martin. Yes, Horatio inside. Wait, no, both sides. Ah, <laughs> Can't hear right or either. What? Wait. Him, Him side, right? No, pup side. <gasps> what? Pup. It's both it's sides. Tuesday. That's that explains why I was worried. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it has been. It's been a Tuesday. <gasps> it has been a ten days. Has what it's ha been. <laughs> I got off the stream I... earlier today so that I could go do things and then I found the couch and I slept for three hours and I'm still <laughs> this tired. This is the best things to do. Nice. No, I wanted to go yeah. and do the gym and then go do some backyard work and then work on the emotes, not the emotes, the sub badges because there's, I haven't done those since they were first a thing and I'm, there are things that are missing that didn't used to exist back then. And I did none of that. And and I think couch is better than all those things combined. No, it just means that I'm going to have to do all that crap tonight. I didn't want to. You can do oh. backyard work at night? Yeah. But what about the snakes? <laughs> they are not here. Yeah, I spray I enough uh, oh. things in my backyard that bugs and animals find it very difficult to exist. <clears throat> Very fair. Just can't see did anything you, in my backyard. Did you plant those trees? All right, yeah. We got someone missing. Oh. Maybe post a picture so we can see your. Power they're not. Power. They're not doing well. Who's, who's in Discord? Who is not in group? Stitched. Oh. He's working on audio probably too. Okay. Um, would you mind getting that out? I've done. 
Look at that, right there. Thank you. And I just shared the missions. Yay. Oh, the FDP. I, I, I don't even think I can. I have travel to Oregon anymore. I think we have a summons going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in place. I was waiting for the eight to share a summons. Fair enough. I'm going to go put the uh, casserole in the oven to keep warm. Be right back. How domestic. Wow. Yeah. wow. Why does she have to do this now to me? <laughs> And I'm hungry. <laughs> oh my god, take a picture and post it. Of the casserole. So I can slobber all over it. <laughs> Yum, way to make that compelling. Back in just a minute. I know. <laughs> I just love any food. Food's good stuff. Yeah, especially when someone else makes it. <laughs> I love it even more. I was wondering earlier if I have the Mexia stronghold, how do I reactivate it on this server? Do I just go to it and click reactivate? That was bought with token. Back. How's the casserole? Uh, oh not my bad. God. It was uh, a hamburger cheese thing that I found on the internet today when I realized I had hamburger that I had to cook, otherwise it was going to go bad. Mm. Good enough. My son likes it, so that's all I really care about. <laughs> yes. Well, now we all like it. it. Right. Not just your son, it's us too. Well, it is, but mostly I don't care so much what I eat, as long as I'm not hungry. It's a hard thing I to learn. <laughs> to do. <laughs> like, literally, seriously, eating is hard. <laughs> cooking is harder. Eating is easy compared to cooking. <laughs> Fair. Uh, I guess it depends, but... Can you post a picture? I want to see this. I like cooking. Of the casserole? Wow. Yeah. Sure. Oh my god. I know. It's already been cut into, but I think you can live with that. Yeah. I would live better if I could taste it. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're still waiting on someone. I'll go take a picture. Be right back. Sorry, she already has to get in on that. Yeah, I think it's muted. No. Man, two people are sick. Sorry, what? Two people are sick. This is just... That time of year. <laughs> yeah, I guess the pre-winter virus is going around. I blame work. Reasonable. All them sick old people. I blame the old people. <laughs> Usually they care for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like, it's the same pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Just the opposite end. <laughs> yeah, the opposite end of the same. Same oh. circle, same thread. Hershey, why did you say no? I think that was to when you asked if he was talking. Oh, gotcha. I think. Thank you. I wasn't paying attention to chat. That was your fun. There, so, uh, sorry, there it's, it's sideways. I apologize for that. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, I'm not technically savvy. Check it out. At least not for. Oh my god. That looks delicious. I'm dying. <laughs> I, added, I added a lot of cheese. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I, would, I would consume. Yes. Yes, yes. Nice. So this. <laughs> cheese. We're going in. Should we wait? Should we go in? Ready to go in. Okay, thank you. What did wait? Did yeah. Eliza, have you done DFTP? I have. So I think just quick refreshers on sure positioning if if it's relevant, but. Um, I imagine it will come back to me fairly quickly. Okay. Uh, on these, hit uh, what are you? I don't know if guardians have anything. If you have something that prevents you from getting stunned or uh, being subjected to movement impairing effects, hit that and then leap in on these guys. And just stick yourself against the wall. Because <clears throat> they'll try to kick you right when you jump in. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Alright. From the... From the browser? There is right. a browser? There is a browser. Oh! Yeah, I couldn't hear you all on anything. I was like, what the heck? This is my Discord app, isn't it? Got a tunnel. Yep. Sure. Now it works, so. Maybe, right? Update. There was an update today for Discord. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, again. I don't know what that is, but I got it. Oh well, we'll trouble you later. Yeah. Twenty after. Oh, another one. So we don't have to grab all of them on a speed run. <laughs> well, we're trying to get two ops done in two hours. Not two hours. Mm, that's up to that's up to Stitch. It's usually the two at the beginning and then the one on the left, and you can just run around. Cool. <clears throat> what was the answer on the DPS question? That's up to Stitch. Stitch, do you want a solo heal? No is a fine answer. Do you want a solo heal? No is a fine answer. I, I love healing, but I thought I'd offered a DPS. I mean, I've never solo healed. I'm I, I'm so very sorry about it. I'm willing to try something. You want to try it until so it doesn't honestly, work? I, I, Does it could I work? Think you'll, yeah, yeah, I think you'll be fine. Uh, don't forget to give LT out. Let me switch to DPS real quick. Okay. And rather oh. than this one, I stand. Oh, well. You stand, you just face her, you face her away, and I will join you. So. Yeah, just on the stairs, right? Like over on the. Yeah, it's. The so in story mode, there is no big positioning thing. It's just facing away from everybody else. Uh, the birds really aren't that much of a hassle and we don't have to do we don't have Nightmare Twin Attack which is a, right. a higher difficulty thing. I will stand with you. So in story mode we get markers and the other difficulties we do not but there needs to be up to two you can try to go solo but even in story mode that's not fun. If there are two targets, they split the damage. So if there are two people in front, and uh, if there's three, the third person just takes extra damage unnecessarily. It doesn't split it in thirds. So there are usually two people, and in story mode, you actually get markers underneath the feet that shows who the two are. But if we keep it to just two, then they are redundant. Alrighty. <clears throat> Waiting on Velvet to finish.
first session. Oh, I'm good. Okay. And okay. we all have bubbles. <laughs> bubbles? Yeah, bubbles. Bubbles. Oh, yeah. oh, I can get the ad. I can I can type the uh, the droid. You want him? Yeah. Oh, you always Unless got a taunt. Always. Sorry. It's not the very first thing that you do, but yep. taunting has to happen pretty quickly. Yeah. Well, Since so you probably want to move in, this furthest person out will get that. You can have it, Velvet. I'm glad it. I mean, I'm not oh, I'm sure you're fine at it. I just offered because I enjoyed it. So I'm happy there you go. Have at it. Generic, you know. When she's Sorry. dead, it. <laughs> hey, Pegs, get back. It's okay. Oh, it's dead. You're you're fine now. You stood in front of her, so you became one of the targets. Oh, bad. All good. All good. That droid was on that floor. <clears throat> yeah, droids in story mode are not very punishing. Isn't it one that you can't taunt to guide it away? No, so I don't know if it's a higher difficulty only thing, but eventually you do get droids that will just go for one of the tanks, one of the people that the you boss is targeting. You can't do anything about it. Can taunt, and then there's one who doesn't matter if you taunt, it will go for the tank. Okay, this is just an, an, an uh, NIM or is it? No. NIM is the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, I, I know a NIM. Should I be guarding people when I am tanking like this? It's not a bad thing to do. They take less damage. They generate less threat. And the healer generally would be the right person? Generally. Or the highest DPS, but you should just take bids. Who would pay you the most? Ooh, and in <laughs> oh, what? yeah. In what currency? Exactly. Oh. You decide. You're just saying in that you, know, you have the casserole advantage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I never thought about the casserole buff. It's a new buff in Star Wars. It's not the best buff in the game. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be a lot to explain, so I'm just going to say let's do audibles. It's something that you have to do a bunch of times to get memorized anyway. So, there's a bunch of the boss jumping up, and then we have to spread out and do stuff. And I will listen carefully. Eh. Do we leave any sides up in story mode? Say what? Do we leave anything up uh, in story mode? No. Yeah. They don't have enough HP. Just run around, kill stuff, don't die. The basics. Just let these guys come to the middle. Higher difficulties. Uh, well, Nightmare in particular, they put out a debuff. Where if you get hit twice without uh, certain defensives up, they delete you on the second one. But even in Nightmare, current strat is to let them come to the middle and either a Guardian or a uh, Shadow Tank takes them and pops one of their defensives. Corruptors you want to kill first on the sides, then the dispatchers. You uh, tank stay on the boss. Yep. Every time the boss is down, that is your priority. And then the spanlers let them come to the middle. Their thing is that if they do their kick on you, 
you receive a debuff. If they hit you again, they do a lot of damage. Again, story mode may not punish too much. Boss is down. Uh, two corruptors in the back. Don't want them to get their buff off, so... A leap counts as an interrupt. Do not interrupt them again. If you do that. Alright, Dismantlers are coming in. Sides. Spoiler in the back. Kill it and then uh let usually this is where we split damage left to right. Higher difficulties, there's a bulwark on the sides. The problem with the bulwarks, the ones that generate the shields. We didn't see any this time. Is that they put up a shield and you do not receive healing underneath the shield. So you want to get rid of it as soon as possible. Nightmare, they also do party wide damage. Yep. Masters, forgive me. Also, a nightmare. I don't know about hard mode. You cannot damage the boss until the guardians are defeated. They shield the boss. So, there are eight waves on this fight. The, once you get it to Nightmare, <clears throat> it is a dance that everyone has to play. Even the healers have assigned interrupts in the back. So, it's but it's a it's really about repetition until it gets burned in. So that's why I was saying let's just do the fight. And you will get it over time. There are cleanses that I should have spent more time mentioning. Stitched, but it's mainly the green the grenade that the boss throws out. It punishes when people are stacked up in the same way that the Horic grenade does in Dreadguards or on the uh, Cartel Warlords. But sometimes it just spreads, it just happens. So, self cleansing works and is very nice. In story mode, these things don't kill you. I'm just gonna tab until... Hey! Alright, I think the 15th tab got the centermost character on my screen to be my target. Still wondering how they did that all these years later. I'm going too far. Starts the boss moving, starts the magnet moving. So <laughs> in it matters a lot more in the higher difficulties lower not that huge of a deal because the magnet smash doesn't even interrupt let alone do too much damage but once the pipe smash comes in let's see let me do it. I don't know if the timer is going to work Nightmare is almost easier when it comes to doing the magnet just because you know that as long as people don't go into the room too far to start the magnet moving, once you start the fight, it's the same three spots. And it's just one, two, three, two, three, two, three until the fight is done. Here, 
the magnet. The thing, it currently it's behind him in the far corner. Do you see the thing that's hanging down from the ceiling? Yeah. That's how we stop the slams. So, story mode, tank him in the middle, and then once he is about to do it, you just spin your camera until you can see it and start moving in that direction you want to move. If the camera is, let's say, I'm sorry, camera. If the magnet is already over there in the far corner and you're in the middle of the room, you want to start moving all the way over here because by the time you get here and then the boss follows you over here, the magnet will have made its way all the way over. So you never actually head towards the magnet. You have to head pretty far ahead of it. Otherwise, you're just going to end up chasing it and never getting it into the magnet. Okay. And it goes just counterclockwise. Or clockwise yeah. the whole time. It will keep moving its way down here and so on. So okay. as long as you aim ahead of it pretty far, that's the goal. Okay. Other than that, Alrighty. people get targeted by fire. Your name will be called out on the screen, and someone will yell it. Don't stand in fire. That's not. That's pretty much it right now. It's not until Nightmare that the ads get shields, and we actually have to worry about them. So. Start over. You can start in the just center. Ahead of the just start in the center. Start in the center. He won't grab the pipe for a while. Ratio, you good? Go for it. Saber throw, leap, move, taunt. The fourth life. All then once the taunt is at about nine seconds left on the cooldown, area taunt, you'll keep threat. I say that on a fight that does have a threat drop, but... <laughs> Still good to know. Apex, you may have stood in fire. Yeah, I just saw it at the last second. You get back towards the middle of the room. You're in the path of the magnet. Me? Yes. Ratio, don't stand at fire. You don't have to do all that. But... And... Alright, move in front of the magnet. Whoever gets the fire debuff, I think it's... You drop 10 pools? Where are you going? Probably. Is that not in front of the magnet? No. Look up and see the magnet. There. Good, good, good. And then stay here or keep moving? Keep. Okay, boss. The pipe just got sucked into the magnet. Boss is stunned, takes a little bit of advanced damage. You can stay there. Once the okay. magnet disappears, start making your way back to the middle. Okay. Um, if anyone is on heels, try it. <laughs> Some people are taking a little bit extra. So, in general, you want to face the group. Or face the boss away, but everyone else needs to be aware. Don't stand in front. The boss does have a cleave, and in addition, that scream right there. If you're in it, you can get knocked back in addition to taking damage. Okay. So, Alright. So that's mainly for everyone else to just be careful. If the tank needs to move somewhere weird, we gotta adjust. This boss is not easy. This boss with the the bosses in general with the massive hitboxes. Nefer is another one. Dash or Thrasher is another one. Dash Root is is also very difficult to manage. Tanks do not have an easy time bringing the boss or facing the boss where they need to go. So. All right. On this boss, we're going to learn about corners. It doesn't matter so much here in story, but it will in the higher difficulties. So, I'm 
gonna let you guys know what corners means because otherwise whoever your raid lead is in the future is gonna yell at you so corners means in here doesn't mean this specific one there are eight of them around the arena though we usually only use two of them in here like tight like all of us are just gonna hug so much get in here and the reason why is because we want to line of sight everything and get it to us if someone is standing here or here they stop but if we get in here and we're tight we're fine that's what the corner means when we spread out gotta work with an officer if you like it's just it's just getting that practice getting that muscle memory so you get tight in there and then once everything moves over all of the range group then we spread out a little bit because he does have a, a many missiles type move where we don't want to stack so in addition the first and third group of ads that will come down they are ranged that's when we want to do the tuck however we're not starting in the corner we're starting on we're, we're not starting on those any corners we're starting on You tanks are going to hold there. Starting in hard mode, you do use two tanks because there's a tank swap. So you'll stand there, and the boss will be roughly here hitting you. Then when the adds spawn, they will spawn in any of these four large open areas. The first group is ranged, and the third. We want to line of sight them. So if they were to spawn, let's say... On that heel marker over there, you would bring you you and everyone else would tuck into this corner over here, and that will cause all of the ads to group up right there. And that makes it very easy to kill them all, especially the gold one, the the toughest one, because he puts out a stun in the higher difficulties. So it's not hard mode, it's not nightmare, but we're gonna practice. And it's all about that movement. And that's it. Um, we all know... Well, most of us have seen him do the lasers thing at the end. We might do enough damage to skip that phase. But in story mode, it's not too punishing. If we get there, we will practice. It's another one of those fights where looking at your map will show you a red dot where the boss is going to be before you actually see the boss be there. So it'll help with that as well. So we'll go everything here at the start of the fight and then you're just gonna sit on this corner with the boss hitting you and I will I'm gonna put a marker on me I can't put a marker on you it's a past lead like a dumb <laughs> passing lead and giving out assistant is right next to each other I I'll move around like so that it's easy to move huh just like promoting and then removing from guild. I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> You're not my friend anymore. <laughs> Someone put a marker on me, please. Danke. All right. Also, after this first group dies, there's a moment where you're out of combat. So if you're on a stealth class, which is only one, um, you can stealth out at that point and get your whatever for DPS, the Shadow Strike, and the and for tanks, the extra damage reduction. Okay. Nice. Alright. Sully, you actually are ready, right? Jumping. Let's go. Okay. This is the end of the line. The end of your line. All right. You are about to witness true action. Thing right there is just fine. My master right. loves to hear your screams. Oh, got a taunt, got a taunt. Yep. Okay, move around. Follow fire. Tuck in. Everybody over here, tuck in. All right, now we spread. 
No, no, no. You stay... You stay in the corner. Everyone else spreads out a little bit. Yeah, it's it's fine right now. Everything is dead. But, Ileza, you'll stay in the corner. <laughs> okay. Because he does Not another right. move. He does this move, something, something, gravity. Where if we stay in the red, we get stunned. And on higher difficulties, that's pretty much death. Okay, so you stay, you start in the starting position, and then once we go to this corner, I you stay, stay in the yes. For the rest of it. Okay. You got to taunt. So I'm only in that one position for a little bit. This one is the one where we spread out and don't stack. This group, this second group, is melee, so we don't have to move around. But everyone still should be close to the boss, so that the ads all come here. Oh, camera swivel. You have every right to be terrified. I will give the symbols of Okay, he's going up. Stay here, stay here, stay here. This uh side, I guess. Then we move. Practice like we play. Now, story mode, you can stand out there. It doesn't really do anything. It's... Actually, hang on. Side was the boss on. Okay, now he's behind us. Then you move corner, then you move corner. So, hard mode, it actually is pretty much the whole width, and then Nightmare, it's even a little bit bigger. On this last one, this is the fourth one, you can actually be behind him and not take damage, even on Nightmare. Now it's burn. He'll do the thing where he shoots out. Again, let's just call it many missiles. So we don't stack. But other than that, it's this is burn until he's dead. Also, for the laser, a lot of people call stairs or doors for where you're heading. Yep. So if you guys have, I don't know. How many of you do in your guys' setup? You can use the the mini map, but the big map that they introduced sometime yeah. after update seven, it's really useful for this because you can see where the red dot is, and then just make sure that you're not either in it or opposite. You go to the other side, and that's a very good way to make those call outs so that everyone knows Do move or stay. Oh, and you can scavenge the bus. <laughs> Did we mean to aggro? Yeah. I just shot the boss, she disappears, and spawns the ease. Gotcha. Also, if you tank it right up the edge. Most of them can take knockbacks, so it's all a lot better. But as a part-time saboteur, I don't want that. I want them in the middle. <laughs> they can drop decals. Your future is here. Your bodies will be ours to mold. Team, I think the mic works. Good. Well, um, oh yeah, it's a very new high latency here, so it's definitely lagged, but it should be better. No, oh, no, this is this is a new you. You had issues with <laughs> your mic. I mean, it sounds the same, Mike. Might... No, it was so quiet before. Now we can hear. Yeah, it. It was quiet. Yeah, but I did turn it. But even him at two hundred was uh you. So normally it doesn't really matter at the lower difficulties. The tanks take the far two, and the damage just burned down. You can interrupt the slam. Nice. You went to the same one I did, though. I, oh. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. Right. 
face away because they will the slam will hit people behind. Unless they just don't slam on story, in which case story mode. Trying to teach stuff. Sorry, not teach stuff. I don't think I realized the difference until we did um Was it Neft Dash where oh, No. What's the one in the desert? What's the actual one? That's Dash Rude. Yeah. So we, we did Nefra right here and then we went and did Dash Rude in uh, yeah. Darpanis. I'm gonna and... switch back to uh heels for the second res. Okay. Unless someone objects. I'm gonna go grab Wawa. Are we doing frames? Or is there even six finger phase in the story? There I is, know. but I don't think that they I I don't think that the there focus is, yeah. laser is deathly like it is in the other one. So I will move I can't Ah Stitched, can you give me uh assistant lead please? Somebody give him the hey, crown back. So I accident I tried to give you assistant lead earlier, except I gave you lead. So you're party leader now. So that's not what I no, wanted. Now you're party leader. No, no, now you're party lead now. Your turn. Dang it. Thank you. There. Now I can move people in frames and mark targets and all of that. Um you know, I kinda wanna leave it this way. I'm not going to. That's how they do it on Darth Malgus. Okay, so if you guys, once you story mode, I don't think anybody's going to really bother. Um, but once you move into hard mode, the six finger phase, which is one of the, it's the second to the last phase. People adjust frames like they do in Operator 9, like they do in certain other fights in the game to indicate positions in the fight. So in six finger phase, tanks are still on top, but if you look at the frames, we've now moved the healers from the bottom up to the middle spot. And that has to do with their positioning for six finger phase so that they can actually target everyone. And in addition, once you get to Nightmare, it, ha it also has to do with the slams, but I don't have to worry about that right now. So the healers are going to be in the middle fingers. And the four damages are going to be on the edge fingers. And they're going to be in this position. So, left frame, apex, you are the top. Again, we ignore the tanks. You are at the top, which means you are far. So, the double, now triple damage marker, that one's you. And then, stitched, your left side, healer marker. And then, beam is going to be this close left side one. Then, over on the right side, we've got Horatio is going to be the far damage. Velvet will be in the middle, and then Solly is going to be down here on the close right side. That's how we organize the frames, and that's the finger you're going to move to when we get to that phase. So keep that in mind for later, because once you get to hard difficulty, it matters a lot. When we get to that phase, we're going to practice like it's harder. You want to get... This is, this is after clock phase, so once we kill the last droid that is down here at the bottom of clock phase, go ahead and start to move to that position. The fingers do take a couple seconds to spawn, but go ahead and start moving there. When the fingers spawn, they have this, I don't know what the cast is in story mode, but it's something like a six or eight second cast where they are focusing. You do not need to have any sort of a taunt. You don't need to hit it or anything like that. You need to be within melee range. Once you're in melee range, they'll just hit you with little pings if no one is within that distance of their finger, it's just going to start sniping people. So that's why we assign those to everyone, is so that we can actually be in a correct position for them. So that everyone is standing next to it, even if the healer is, as an example, even if they're not actually hitting it. You just have to be in proximity to it. So, uh, it's not complicated. You guys are going to get it that's right after two tries. Practice. Go ahead. I was just saying, in hard and nightmare mode, it's good practice to any range to kill the healers ones, since you don't have to do damage to the 
finger to get it to look at you. We want the healers freed up as quickly as possible. Yep. Yeah. Ready to burn. Solly's on the sage. Nice. Okay. I've been talking. I need to grab water. What? Other than that, I think we're going to be good to so go. When I kill mine, I take the next one. This is normally the middle one. But wait, range, range can do it. Is it gonna be close enough? I should. Yeah, so you it. just need to be standing near your finger, mm -hmm. and then you can hit any of them. So, um, some nightmare groups will actually have the range kill theirs last, um, freeing up everyone first, and just standing where you're close to your finger. But mm -hmm. particularly healers, you want to free up as quickly as possible yeah. so <clears throat> even though you're standing at your finger you're going to hit the healer one first um, yeah i can do then, that i can do and then either yours or uh, melee's uh, depending on the group Um, for this first phase, I, I'll i take right hand, you take left, and damage, jump on the fingers first, or and then go to the hands. Well, ranged, get fingers. Melee can go to hands, that's fine. Um, and we can go ahead and split by sides. Is it left hand first? So, story mode doesn't matter. We can just split. Alright, Clara wasn't ready. Who's playing Clara? That's yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, cool. Um, are you actually ready? Yes. Okay, then I'm gonna go. Woo. Submit. Let yourself be unmade. Ratio, you might be taking slam damage. I'm gonna follow mine. Story mode, they and hard mode, they follow a set pattern. Okay, this hand's dead. Get the fingers before finishing the hand. Fingers are up. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't talking to you, I, Lisa. You get the hand. Oh. Gotcha. You are. You do. You. You do tank things. I'm normally not talking to you. <laughs> what are you guys doing? No. No. This is reaches. They hurt. Where's the hands? All right. This is the fourth one, and I think that's it in story. All right. You get the boss first. Leap, taunt, face back towards the red wall. Yeah, Tonner, Tonner, get her. Where are you going? Don't go. No, no, no. Face her to the red wall. Everyone else on this side. There are four red walls. They, there's only one that touches the ground. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone else get on the back side. Everyone else stack with their, with on the party. When the Kephas comes down, I will grab and bring to the group. Your limitations must be explored. Perfect. Push. Yep, that's good. Good timing. Alright. Everyone, uh, healers, stay where you are. Uh, I leave the Follow, don't be in the light. Don't, don't die. Don't Whatever. be in the lightning. That's the clock phase. 
Um, you usually start opposite. You usually start with the opposite. And I will have to go over this again. You usually start with the opposite, going in the opposite direction. And you start taunting all of the droids. Because otherwise they're just going to shoot the healers like that. Okay, so I think this healer stay where you are command is probably not exact. No, I didn't mean it in, in its entirety. Right. So I, my res is not up for three minutes. Yeah, the fight's gonna be over. Am I doing the right thing? No. Left? No, you don't. This is six finger. You're on the hand. Left on the left hand, and you're facing it away from the group. I am. Okay, now she goes middle. Story mode. Don't worry about pawning until the cast ends. Witness the potential of perfection. Do it now and you'll get the first couple hits. Uh, I'm sorry, come back towards this red door. Yeah, everyone was standing between her and the red wall, so I didn't want to face her that way. But... She's single targets in this phase. Great. Alright, you taunt. Move her towards this wall. Everyone moves towards this wall. Everyone is in on get on this side of her so that when she knocks you, she doesn't. She's not moving in a, an incorrect direction. Want her stacked up. Got a purple. So that's this op, right. and obviously not today, but we'll, we'll, we will revisit. I skipped over too much. I will not end Dread Palace, though. <clears throat> Grab a drink real quick. Mm -hmm. Stitch, right click your portrait, and then whatever the bottom action is, either it's phase or additional actions, and then phase, and then reset all active operations. Maybe. I just did that. I just hit reset all. Okay, good. So even though we're still in the same ops group, that has we just did an op. If anyone steps in and steps out, it just kind of links us to that. So we have to do that reset before we jump into another one. So uh, just in case, I don't know if everybody made their way there. Once you leave the phase, you go to the portal that is next to the phase. It brings you upstairs. Entrance to Red Palace.
don't have to pull these groups, you hug the wall. There is one yeah, patrol that patrol can be in the way. It will be given. You don't have to fight this group either. Just hug the wall. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so that's the one. And that happens. Alright, you can hug the right here. And also stitched solo heal just about that whole thing. So yeah, yes you can. And helped out. <laughs> you did awesome. <laughs> The only, the only reason I switched to heals on the, the last part is because I knew there would be uh, a need for another res. That, that's a hard I appreciate point. it. Absolutely. I can switch back to uh, DPS on this one, but I was planning to stay in heals for the extra res. So just know, Stitch, that it's not needed. You are good enough. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was why I said that. It's totally not you. I just wanted to have that extra res available. Uh, you can go ahead and pull this group. I need to go turn the air down. Yeah, why don't you guys go ahead and start the fight? I'll I'll catch up. <laughs> I heard. <laughs> which which group? All of them? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's doable, but but no, thank you. If only you were <laughs> a maniac. That those folks right there. The Starting to sweat. I'm gonna get up and turn the air down. What are you, what are you keeping it set at? Uh, to save money, I leave it at 74. Uh, but I have to turn it down when I'm streaming it at 71. I would be plenty comfortable at 65, but I can't. Because we are 13 year old boys, we keep it at a balmy 69. Yeah, if I wanted to keep it comfortable, uh, it would be on all the time, and I'd have a 200 plus dollar energy bill. Alright, so on this fight, healers, you guys generally stay towards the throne. And. No, pathway. Pathway? Yeah, that little uh, walkway between the door and the throne. Yeah. Um, the only time you'll have to move, Stitch, is when there's. There is a, a move that goes out, and you might plant a yellow circle, and that's not a good thing to stay in. You should be one of the ones getting a red. Now, the red actually shows up before it's going to plant itself. And with that one, you'll get a... And this is for everybody. If you are the one that gets the red circle, then it's not immediately doing damage. So you've got a little bit of time to adjust. Your debuff will look like a gross tomato thing. And you step out. When that debuff disappears... That's when it does a bunch of damage to you and everything else within the red. So just hit a defensive before it finishes and make sure that you are not standing next to anybody else. It's not, this is one of those things where it's not everybody else's job to move away from you, like Kepis and TFB or something like that. It's the other way around. You've got to step out. For this first group, boss doesn't come down immediately. We just kill all of them. He monsters. It's good if you've got extra taunts available to throw them at any of the little wrigglers that are not on you, especially the ones that are bothering the healers, but your primary focus is single taunting the big guys. Keep them on you. And it's the damage's job to burn them down as soon as possible. I don't theme other tentacles in story. 
No. No. I honestly don't remember. Okay. If they come no, out. No, there aren't. Be good. No. Just the normal ads. Okay. So we'll keep doing that. Focus down the big ones when they come out. Generally, this side of the room, then far or left and then right, whatever your right lead tells you to do. And then, if there are any regulars available, if you are a damage that has a single taunt, again, if you want to tab to them and then taunt them off the healers, they would appreciate it. But other than that, first phase is easy. Second phase, when the boss comes down, Eliza, that's all you. You bring her back here towards the door. This whole area in front of the door is your room to kind of move around if you need to move around. If people are dropping yellow circles and stuff, then this is your area to kind of move around and keep the boss and yourself out of danger. And it's usually the off tank's job. Once the uh, she gets to 50%, there will be more ads that start to spawn. And it is the other tank's job. You don't have one, but it's the other tank's job to go and wrangle them and generally, in the higher difficulties, damage takes a break from the boss, goes and kills the big guys, does area damage to try to kill the little guys too, and then comes back to the boss until we hit a certain percentage, and then you burn the boss down. That's how the higher difficulties are done. So, it's up to the tanks to call out and tell you what those percentages are in those higher difficulties, because it's usually, how are the tanks swapping? Are they swapping? And then how does the tank that's handling the ads feel that they can do with keeping them busy? So that's generally what that comes to. Here, it's probably going to be, you know, once the boss is below 50%, just go for it. But I'll call it out when we get there, see how easy a time I have of keeping everything together. All right. Um, super quick question. When you call out the percents on the boss's health, mm -hmm. Are you, is that from like a parse that you have up or? An, Sometimes wait, are you, I, gonna... you also, you could focus target the boss and it doesn't give, well, I don't know if it actually that has a thing, but if you target, like you could target her now and hit all F and that becomes your focus target. And that's an easy way on a target that isn't going to continue to disappear. Like Calpheus later on, he, we're going to drop focus target on him every single time we tell teleport phases, but here I think it's fine. So you can focus target, but Parsley does have an overlay, or not Parsley, Star Parse, and so does Orbs. So they're available, but they're not the only thing. You have an in-game way of doing it. All right. And that's even for healers. Like if the healers need to know what the boss percentage is at because you know a certain phase transition is happening, even you can Alt F to focus target something whether it's the boss or a particular character that you might need to cleanse in a fight or something like that, focus targets pretty useful because that'll always have them on the screen. You can click onto them to target them or get a good idea of their health. Okay. For this one, if you also if you've <laughs> never used if you've never used focus target before, you need to activate it in your UI. Um, Interface yeah. editor, yeah. 